So guys, saw the thumbnail. How did I lose twelve hundred dollars? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. What's up, party people? Jeremy, Snakes with the Memories here. And I'm just gonna tell you guys, you know, I lost money. It's what happened. You know, I bought something, we've all done it, and it just didn't end up coming true. So, just, you know, try to make this a short story for you guys. Uh, a couple years ago, I bought a animal, believing it to be, you know, a female. Uh, ultrasound last week, and I was like, okay, because she's at like 1,200 grams now, so I'm like, uh, okay, let me, you know, ultrasound her up. And I was like, oh, God, I don't see any follicles. And I, knowing, like, I know kind of how to ultrasound, so I know, like, I wasn't messing anything up at that point. But I was like, okay, let me just pop her. And guess what, guys? But you already know. It's a male. So this here was Rosemary. A female pastel and cheek calico hat clown. Now it is a male pastel and cheek calico hat clown. So this is my $1,200 mistake, guys. Um, you know, I should double check, you know, I, I messed up. So I'm actually going to be putting him up on Morph Market. So if anybody needs a, you know, look, look at this. Honestly, guys, look at this calico. It is gorgeous. Calico and Enchi has a little paradoxing on it. Right about right. Let's see if I can get that right about there. So it has a little bit of paradoxing on him. Pretty cool. But yeah, he is a, uh, definitely a breeder male. Definitely, definitely a breeder male, guys. So, yeah. You know, and you know how they say, you know, oh, bad things come in threes. It did. This isn't the only thing that's happened. So, uh, I did film the clutch polling. Uh, I had another clutch lay. Um, was it nine eggs? All slugs, guys. Uh, that did happen. Sucked, but it was, so, I think it's kind of a cool story. Uh, story behind her is, it's the mystery clutch girl from, like, one of our very early videos, guys. Um, and she was building when we were in Florida. Uh, last May, May 2023, uh, she was at, I want to say... Like 25 millimeter follicles. And then, you know what happened? We started to get ready to move. And by the time we, you know, moved, you know, moved back, moved up to Leado, Indiana, and I all sounded again, and she was shrinking. So, like, she was back at like, you know, 10, 15 millimeters. And then, I don't know how, but, you know, a couple months later, I was like, just off sounding again. She was back at 30 millimeters. And I was like, what? Very weird. So I was like, okay, maybe you know, sperm took or not. But long story short, she, you know, I didn't pair her. I didn't use her. She was reabsorbing, I thought. Um, but yeah, that changed that whole scenario. And now we don't have those eggs. But it was definitely a cool learning experience of, hey, now that I know, hey, they might be reabsorbing, but I'm still going to be ultrasounding monthly with them, like eat, just to make sure, because I, I could have caught it. I could have caught it. I could have paired and probably could have had a clutch with, from her, because nine eggs, she's always been a good layer, but yeah, that is, you know, that just what it is right there also the third thing i've had let's see here 
10 girls um, already start to reabsorb. Uh, and this is honestly, this is just from my, you know, buying that collection, going to pick it up from, because they moved from where they were at. They moved several states over. So I went to several states over and I drove them to Leado. And then I, you know, then we moved again. So those snakes have moved several times in the past year, which, you know, only 10 so far reabsorbed. The other are going strong. Like I have so many that are still building. Um, anticipating about 30 clutches this year. So it's not like it's a bad thing or anything like that. Like, hey, I'm not gonna be overwhelmed with snakes, but also it's like, you know, we moved, we did. We put a lot of stress on these animals over the last few months. And you know, it's just part of, you know, the business, it is. It's part of what happens. Uh, they like what they like. They like to be in their perfect ecosystem. And then when you change it up, you change anything, that's when a lot of things change. That's when they, you know, stresses them out and it makes them reabsorb. But yeah, that is kind of, you know, a little, I guess, how I lost $1,200. Again, this boy, look at him. Look at him. He wants to go home. He wants to go home to you. You right there. Yup, you. Message me. You know, make me an offer. And I will, uh... Get this guy sent out to you. Let's get him in your breeding plan. Like he is ready to go. Let's uh throw some calico into your clowns, cause calico's amazing in clowns. I love it. But yeah, this boy, girl, laying all slugs. Oh no, they weren't all slugs. There was one tiny white egg. So nine slugs, one good egg. Maybe it's a good egg. It had like the weakest of veins, but. Threw it in the, I didn't throw it in the incubator, that'd be kind of messed up. I'm not trying to kill the egg or the stink, anything like that. But I did put it into the incubator, hopefully to, fingers crossed, we get something. But, you know, again, it is what it is. Uh, and then also, you know, 10 girls reabsorbing so far. But again, with that scenario, I'm still going to be ultrasounding them every month just to see if they start building again. See if like, you know, they didn't take a year off. They just, you know, just built. Yeah, that's like a mid-season update for you guys. You know, it is what it is. It sucks. But it's only up from here. Still got about 30 clutches. Pro well, I'm still anticipating at least 30 clutches this year. So it's going to be a nice, nice big year this year for us. Definitely be our biggest year ever. So I'm excited. Plenty of other clutches and uh, snakes to pair and breed and cut. So, yeah. Um, again, hope you guys like this video. Uh, appreciate you guys all coming out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Definitely appreciate it. And again, this guy. Look at him. Rosemary. You know, a boy named Rosemary. You know, what are you going to do? But yeah, look at him. He's awesome. Check him out. He's going to be on Morph Market soon. And uh, I just wanted to get this video out before I put him on Morph Market. Because it's a nice little story to know why I'm putting up the sweet mail. It's just, I have a visual clown calico mail. And guess what? If I have a visual boy who's already breeding, I'm not going to put another hat boy with it. Because it's no point in my opinion. Uh, it's a nice backup to have, but... I have plenty of backups, um, so yeah, this this heck clown boy is going to be up for grabs, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one, deuces!